It's Patrick Hudson from IntensiveCareOutline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So we've got an email from a subscriber who says, My husband has been in intensive care for 14 weeks. He's ventilated with a tracheostomy after Gillian Barre, uh, after he's been diagnosed with Gillian Barre syndrome. And ICU says he can't be weaned off the ventilator and he needs to stay here. I have done my research and I have seen that there's intensive care at home services. Can he go home with intensive care at home? What a great question. And the short answer is yes. If your husband is in intensive care, and by the way, you shared with me that he's 47 years of age, you know, that's very young. And, um, you know, if he can't be weaned off the ventilator, you should definitely take him home with intensive care at home and you will find more information about intensive care at home at intensivecareathome.com. So, you know, especially with Gillian Barre syndrome, it can take sometimes weeks, months to wean someone off the ventilator. Most weanings are successful eventually with Gillian Barre, and we have done this at home with some of our clients. So you can, you should contact us here at Intensive Care Hotline or Intensive Care at Home um, and talk to us, you know, especially if he's 47 years of age and I've seen you are in Australia, the NDIS funding scheme will probably kick in and fund a critical care nurse at home or critical care nurses 24 hours a day at home so that the ICU can empty in bed. They're short of beds anyway. The hospital can save money and, you know, the governments can save money. That's what we are here for, to create win-win situations for everyone. Cut the cost of an ICU bed and take patients home uh, where they want to be. So that is my quick tip for today. Contact us at intensivecarehotline.com or intensivecareathome.com and call us at one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Also, check out our membership for families in intensive care at, in, at intensivecaresupport.org. We also provide medical record reviews for patients in intensive care or after intensive care, and we basically provide a second opinion for families in intensive care anyway. Um, like the video, give it a thumbs up, Subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care and intensive care at home. Share this video with your friends and families. Click the notification bell. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hudson from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days.